Hello, this is Richard Arfston. This was a very difficult piece to try and figure out a title for. Anyways, I came up with Coloratura. And uh, Coloratura is a very, uh, uh, how to explain it, a frilly, a frilly uh, solo with lots of trills in it. It's uh, sung by a soprano. She's the one who can uh, break the wine glass with a noise. You know. Anyways, uh, that's what it looks like to me. Uh, going in all different directions and very frilly. Anyways, I had to call it something. So uh, that's it. This is also one of those very, very difficult pieces to cast. I uh, met a guy in Chicago, came up to me at a booth, it was a pretty, the most expensive art fair that we've ever been to was at the, uh, uh, I can't remember the name of it, big, big, big venue in Chicago. Anyway, this guy comes up to me and asks me how I how I made my art, you know. And I told him, I said, uh, you know, I saw pieces of styrofoam and I glue them together. Yeah, 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 I know that, I know that, he says. You know. But how do you cast it? Well, I, I bury it in dry, loose sand, like an hourglass sand, and I vibrate the sand and I pour hot metal into it. And uh, he says, that won't work. And I said, and why do you say it won't work? I'm an expert, he says. Okay, you're an expert. All right, I'll give you that. Why won't it work? He says, look at your piece. You got all sharp edges. There's different thicknesses. Look at how thick the base is. Look at how thin some of those others are. You'd never be able to get the metal to run all the way out to the end. There's no shrinkage. It will not work. I said, well, obviously, sir, okay. I uh, figured something out. Uh, five years of experimenting at uh, 60, 70 tries a year. Uh, so uh, I figured something out. He says, well, tell me the secret. I says, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Who are you? Well, I'm the guy that uh, sells the coating that you put on um, this uh, product. He says, I assume you put on a coating. I said, yeah, I do. He says, well, I'm the guy that invented it and I market it. I said, well, that's wonderful. That means you're the mega millionaire. Yes, I am. I said, well, I'm the starving artist. And uh, you want me to give you five years of my work to figure out how to do this when nobody else can do it in the industry and you demand it and I'm going to hand it over to you. I said, it ain't happening. I said, now if you want to watch me pour a piece, I will let you pour a piece. You buy this piece and I'll let you pour it. You want some questions answered? I will answer the questions for you for a price. No, 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 no. You can, you can uh, just tell me. I says, no. No, that's not going to happen. Thanks anyway. Then a lot, about a, oh, I don't know, half hour later, later, this little cute little Japanese lady comes up to me and she says, you can tell me the secret. And I says, and why am I going to do that? She says, because my boss sent me over here to figure out what the secret was. And I said, and you are? I'm the head of his sales uh, force in the Orient. I see. I said, so that means you're going to buy the piece then. And so you can watch. No, 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 no. No, I'm not going to buy it. But you can tell me the secret. I said, honey, you're cute. But you know what? <laughs> I'm not that much of a fool. Sorry. 
anyways, I know how to make it work, and uh, nobody else does, as far as I can see. These pictures represent information that somebody who would fabricate this would want to see the details. So you can show him these uh, pictures in the round and uh, they can give you some concept of what it would cost to build. You know, the whole idea of the maquette is to buy the maquette and then you give that to the fabricator. But before you do that, you might want to get some idea if you were interested in having it enlarged, what it might cost. Um, this is a very uh, challenging piece. It's got a lot of elements, but it's a spectacular piece. And you can see from these views in different settings that uh, this is a dynamite piece of sculpture uh, design. So anyways, I don't know any other way to do this. Uh, I'm just trying to show you ideas of where it could be used. And uh, of course, you can always put it on a coffee table or uh, or a boardroom table, you know. But uh, personally, I would really like to see somebody build this big. And I would like to see this right next to a big calder someplace, you know. Anyways, that's uh, the hope of every sculptor that uh, makes things big as. Well, it's more than beautiful. It's big is exhilarating, you know. You can walk in amongst it, and uh, it has a life of its own. It's, it's an exciting visual experience to uh, walk through something like this. This design looks really, really complicated, but if you look at it carefully, it's nothing more than a series of boxes. And there is a, a rhyme or a reason to it. it. They all, all these forms relate to each other. and. Uh, so the curve of one is very similar to the curve of the other. And by using modern technology, by uh, putting it on a scanner, a 3D scanner, uh, you can get a computer printout of what the patterns look like. That's the that's the way you would build this. This I don't think this would be very hard for anybody who fabricates big signage, you know. Uh, I mean, look at all the different styles of letters of writing there are. You know, it's it's not that big a deal. So if you break this down into pieces, it's all they are is boxes like letters and then they're welded together just like uh, it's not a jigsaw puzzle but a three-dimensional game you know where you take things apart it's not really that complicated sachiart.com slash Richard Arfston is a place where you can go to see a lot more of my work, sculpture and flat art. It also is a good source to 
get some idea of what things cost in the real world other than my things. So thanks for taking the time to look. Have a good day and a better tomorrow.